Okay, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to 24 Days of Christmas, and today we are doing a mother-son tag with yeah. my son Taylor, mm -hmm. and we're actually um, doing the same questions that we did with my daughter in the daughter uh, mother-daughter tag, and so we are going to do those same questions, but with my son. Our answers on this are going to be very different um, <laughs> from my mother-daughter tag, so this one's my challenge. Okay. This Could is you? my my challenging child. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So well, this is my son who is Taylor, and he is Mr. Go Getter, <laughs> Mr. Obnoxious, Mr. Loud as can be. Yeah. And uh, especially when singing. I don't know if I'd call that singing. No, it's not. It's, it's more like it's screaming. It's screaming. That's what it is. Okay, so let's get started on here, and we are going to answer some questions for you guys. So most of these are directed at him answering questions, and then a couple that will be um, for the two of us both ways. So, number one, do you consider yourself a mommy's boy? <laughs> yes, actually. Yeah. I'm very much so of a mommy's boy. Uh huh. He really is. He comes home from school, and if I'm not here, he has to call me immediately. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. You are a grown-up. I don't care. <laughs> Why are you calling me? I need my mommy. So, yes, he Where's my is. pacifier? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely a mommy's boy. Okay. Is there a face that you make when you want something? Yes. Is there? Yeah. yeah. You want to give him your face? I think it's... Oh, he can't quit laughing right now, so... Because <laughs> the first question, I'm bad and messed up on that. That was great. Um, <laughs> no, I, I can't really get the face, but it's... Well, Usually when he wants little... something, yeah, mm -hmm. he kind of pouts at me, does the... Can you, get a, can you get this? Yeah, there it is. Yep, there's that face. <laughs> okay, number three. <laughs> Did you and your mom used to do anything special when you were a child? No. Do you have any... I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> was there anything special that we did together that was just you and I that you remember? Oh yeah, we played video games at one yes. point together. We which, used to always do video yes, games together. which I loved so much. Well, games. back I used to have the old Nintendo. Yes. Um, and that was great like to play together. The original Nintendo. We played, I think it was Donkey Kong. Did Donkey Kong, we used to do Street Fighter, yep. which is not the oh best children's God. game, but we used to do Street nope. Fighter all the time. Not a good children's game. <laughs> but we used to play that because it was one of the ones I had. And yep. then Mario Kart. Yep. And so those were something we did. Oh, it wasn't it also, We did that um, before she was even born. Yeah. Before Sarah was even born. As well born. as Mario Tennis? Like the original um, version? No, we didn't play Mario the Mario Tennis, tennis until um, later on. Oh, no, on. that's what I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until later on. But yeah, we used to do Mario Kart and Super Mario Brothers. Um, oh, yes. And he used to never be able to get past like the stage one. Nope. And it was always to make you me laugh constant. all the time. I think you were Princess Peach's sister. Nope, I used to just always play as Mario, and Taylor right. played as Luigi okay. every time we played. And <laughs> so it was always just fun. It was something we yeah. did before Sarah was even born and continued to do even after she was born because she was such a quiet, chill baby. Mm -hmm. Gave us lots of extra play time together. Yeah. And we played so, the Wii once in a while together. Mm -hmm. okay. That's something we still do. <laughs> so, yeah. Is there a special song that she used to sing to you? Oh my god, I don't remember the song. I used to sing. That's a very special song. It's something yeah. he still loves to this day. Yeah, that was the only thing that would calm him down when he was a baby. Do you remember it? I don't remember the name of it. Hush, little baby. Oh don't yeah, Metallica's <laughs> Sandman. Inner Sandman. Inner Sandman. By Metallica. That's um, my favorite. <laughs> it was funny when I was pregnant with him, he would be the squirmiest baby in the world. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> this kid was like... I don't know what was going on in there, but he's playing like his own World Cup soccer match <laughs> inside my tummy. Goal. And the only yeah, the only way that I could get him to settle down and not be squirming so much was I would blast Metallica, <coughs> yeah. um, and it was the only thing that made him stop. Yeah, and like, I think that's also the reason why I like to listen to rock music now. Yeah, you're well. definitely into more heavy metal music than anything else, but Metallica was the music that settled mm -hmm. him down. So when he was born and he would get really worked up and I would have to sit down to nurse him, I would sing Inner Sandman to him. Yeah. So it, it worked. It would calm him down. So, hey, yeah, I Plus guess you do what you like, got to do. Well, your kid's going to end up like an angry old man. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, does, does your mom have any nicknames for you? Tay-Tay. Um, little bird. Yeah. Twerp. Twerp. Get over here, twerp. No, yeah. that's really not a nickname. That's usually really. when being a brat. Yeah. But bird is the one yeah. I use for you quite often. Oh. And bug. And bean pole at one point. Yeah, I used to call you my little bean pole. Because yep. he would never want to eat 
he still doesn't like to eat, but I always called him Beanpole because yeah. he would just be kind of slinking around somewhere. And a string, Beanpole, get and over a string here. Bean. String bean, my yeah. string bean. He's my string bean. But yeah. bird and bug, I think, were the two biggest ones. Yeah, but bird, definitely. Little, mm -hmm. little, Look like a little baby bird screaming yeah. for food. Get over here. <laughs> He's all whining. Um, what do you call your mom? What do I call my mom? Yeah, what do you call your mom? Do you call me mom, mommy, mama? Just <laughs> mom or once in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's or that one. Woman who feeds me. <laughs> doesn't ever call me that, but okay. No, no. no. he doesn't have anything real special like my daughter does. Woman who gave birth to me. That's no. the one she does to me all no. the time. But just, this just one just mom or mum. Yeah. My, yeah. He's kind of on the simpler side on that one. Um, what is something you truly love about your son? Um, oh, there's a, quite a few things I truly, genuinely love about this kid. Are you sure? One is that he's an absolute fighter. And the stuff this kid has gone through, most people could never have made it or survived it. He's going insane. He's had 10 operations, 10 operations on his body. And no matter how many times he's gone through it, he's come right back out of it, right out of anesthesia, raring to go. Wanting to get up and run, wanting to get up and play soccer, wanting to get out there and play football. And it didn't like, out. yeah, it was like, the doctors are like, you have to take it easy for a few days. And, I'm like, and he's right back at it, like bouncing back, ready to go, continuing on. I mean, he's going to be 18 in January. Yeah. And we were told he would never even see the age of 12. And uh, hi. Hello. <laughs> hello, 18th birthday. Yep. Um, and I look at him and he just gets stronger and stronger each, each year. And he just perseveres past each and every milestone they put in front of him. And he does it without even missing a beat. Oh yeah. So this kid right here, the fighting spirit that he has is like top line, my absolute favorite thing about him. So yeah. Is there anything that uh, you truly love about your mom? I'd say the same thing. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I haven't had too many surgeries. A couple. Well, what I but... mean is every day because of the certain things that are crippling you in like your strength and stuff, you push through it Yeah. and stuff. That's awesome. And also the times when I give you hard time, and you're like, I'm done for the day, but you still push back. Mm-hmm. Like, no, and there's I'm there's, gonna, I'm gonna there's quite a few going. of those. Yeah. yeah. Because he's he's a challenge. Yeah. He he's a, a challenging kid, but <laughs> like he says, there's days where I just feel like I'm done, but within she five minutes mean. I'm right back out here, yep. pushing through and and talking it out with him and having a conversation and continuing to show yeah. him that no matter how many times we have those butting head moments, I'm still yeah. going to be right there to talk it through with him. Yep. So, this, because like I said, this is my, this is mine right here. His, yeah. his fighting spirit, I, I'm pretty sure he gets it from me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's see what's the next one. Number eight, is there anything that secretly annoys you about your son? <sighs> There's actually one thing, one thing. My screamo. No. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No. He has a real bad habit where he'll come in and he'll get ice or something out of the freezer, not fill up the trays. He'll get water out of the Brita and he won't fill it back up. So, <laughs> oh, oh, that was loud. <clears throat> but for him, he has a real bad habit of taking stuff and not putting things back where they like and refilling it. So that's probably my biggest annoyance with him. Yeah. And he knows it is, but there's also times where I see him do it and I'm just like, you gonna you can do something, <laughs> and then I, I stare back and I'm like, no. He usually has left the room and just left it sitting out on the counter or left it in the freezer with like one ice cube in it. Or I stand there and I stare back at her like, am I supposed to do something? <laughs> like yeah. I'm very clueless at points. So now vice versa. Is there anything that mom does that leaves you fully annoyed? That Pokemon Go. <laughs> a secret that is one thing that annoys me right now is that she got it in one day and she was already almost level 10 and i was level eight and now i'm level 20, 20 soon to be 22 20, no almost, almost 22. 22 and i'm level 16 on one account <laughs> and level nine on my other and i still do pokemon and, go every day yeah um yeah that's kind of funny but yeah. <laughs> oh and also how she beats me at video games on some video games. Yeah, there's quite a few she that... She can't beat me at tennis, though, on the Wii. 
I hate that we tennis because I, I do live <laughs> tennis, like actual tennis, I mean, which he has no chance in the world at on, on a court. Could. On a court, I have kicked it. his butt repeatedly. Let's try it. We have. Remember, we, have we, well, we haven't done it in a long time, but yeah, I have known it. for being really good on the court. Taylor, yeah, however, is really good on the Wii. Yes, he can play I'm, Wii I'm tennis pro. like it's nothing. But oh. being in real life tennis is t totally different. So we we'll, have we'll have to get out there and do that again. And videotape. And All right. Part. What is your favorite <laughs> childhood memory with with me? What's yours? And I'll tell mine afterwards. Uh, um, What's your favorite childhood memory that you've had with me? I think, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was when we were at Nani's old house. Like, really old. Like, one of her really old houses with old Roxy. Mm -hmm. Like, before she got yeah. brand new Roxy. And Uncle Ralph got out the little dirt bike. And we were all riding on the dirt bike and stuff. And... I think, yeah, I crashed on it, and you were there, and you helped me, and mm -hmm. that was, like, my favorite moment, because one, I got to ride a dirt bike, as well as get to have my mom see me do it. Yeah. Yeah, it was that so was... funny, because he, he just full throttled it. I just went, wah! <laughs> I, I wheelied but it, and I fell right He was really ground. little at that time. He was, <laughs> like, three and four years old then, <laughs> and it was a small little, like, children's but dirt bike fast. thing, but it was really fast. It was, like, one of those little miniatures. I mean, Tanner could get it no problem, but mm -hmm. me, I was like... Pfft. Yeah, but I was always right there to kind of wipe his knees off and, and be right there didn't to tell him, cry. you've got it again. You can do it. You can do it. Get yeah. up there and do it again. I didn't cry, so, though, luckily. That. It's got on my face the entire time. I know. Okay, and then for me, my favorite childhood memory with, with him was um, whenever he would actually eat. Like, it was always really complicated to get him to eat food by mouth because he had a really bad oral aversion to food. But one thing I knew that if I cooked it, he'd eat it was spaghetti. Oh. Yeah. And so, but here's the trick. I had to always make sure that the spaghetti noodles were done in a, like a food coloring. So it had to be like either green or blue or red because he was little. And so to him, if you told him that they were something else, he thought that was the coolest thing in the world and that he wanted to eat it. <laughs> And so I have a video of him eating spaghetti. Okay. And he was actually trying to talk to his biological father, who was at the time who I was married to. And I didn't have Sarah yet. But he's sitting in his chair and he's eating. And he's trying to get his father's attention. And he has a piece of spaghetti and he bites it and drops it into the bowl to say something. And takes a hesitant moment, looks down at it, looks back up and then sticks his face in the bowl. Like plows his face face first into the bowl. So when he comes back up, he's got a sauce ring across his forehead. With a noodle. Yep, no, he has a noodle stuck on his nose. On nope, forehead. on your nose. So he's got a noodle stuck to his nose. He's got noodles hanging from his mouth. And he's got a sauce ring around his forehead and under his chin. Best moment ever, ever with this kid because he was so focused on the fact that he dropped the noodle. That he went back Hesitation in for it, forgetting, like, wait. like, forget about the fork that he was holding in his hand, <laughs> which he did have in his hand. He'd been eating his dinner the whole time with a fork, and in that moment, the fork disappeared, and his face went for the bowl. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> Best <Good> moment <laughs> ever. <laughs> have you okay. and your son, have you and your son ever had a really big fight? Absolutely. Yes. We won't go into details about it, yeah. but we've had one in our entire relationship as a mother and son. Um, I hate being stubborn. And I don't think it's ever going to really go away. No. And the thing is, is that stubborn personality can do you some really good, like big good things in your life, but it can also hold you back with certain things yeah. because it can, it can burn bridges. Like when some people are really, really stubborn and don't want to give in, um, it can burn bridges that you don't intend to burn. Mm -hmm. Um, it'll, he'll never put it this way. I'll make it very clear. He will never, ever burn bridges with his mother. He'll yeah. always, always have me in his life. Yeah. Always, no matter how bad of a thing he would do in his life, how bad of a thing that he may think of, um, no matter how mean he can be with me, he's always going to be my son, my baby, my little boy, the one thing I've always wanted in life. And yeah. so those doors will always be open and those bridges will always be repaired and stayed put so that way yeah. he's always got something to come back home to. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's, that's my son, you guys. Yeah. So that was, that was my... Uh, son, mother, mother, son tag thing, back and forth, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And so there we go. I wanted to make sure we got that on here. 24 days of Christmas. I hope you guys are enjoying these 24 days of Christmas. And, um, yeah, so there we go. Mm -hmm. Mother, son tag. 
And this is my little man right here. And yeah. if you guys like this video, you know, give it that thumbs yeah. up. Come back and see us again. We've got 24 videos for the month of December for you. If you haven't seen any of the ones previous to this, don't be afraid to go check those out, as well as the video that came out on the 30th of November, which was the advent calendar. So a DIY mm -hmm. advent calendar. Um, if it's now near the end of the month, you may want to wait till next year to use this idea, but it is an amazing idea. It's going to be an amazing amount of fun. And yeah. if you guys haven't seen the video for that, go yeah. check it out. And uh, we're going to wrap it up right there and just say thanks again for watching, guys. Bye. Uh.